Hi, my name is Jamie Eyre and I'm going to introduce you to CodePeer, a static analysis tool for ADA. To get started, let's imagine I've been delivered some ADA code from some of my colleagues. My task is to review the code and analyse potential problems. There's a lot of code to review and it's difficult to spot problems by just looking randomly through the code. As you can see, I'm reviewing my code through GPS, the GNAP Programming Studio. This is the IDE that comes with GNAP Pro, and through which most ADA core tools are invocable. The GNAP Pro compiler already spotted the most obvious problems through the standard GNAP warnings, so I'm going to need something more advanced if I want to carry on and gain additional confidence in the quality of the code. From GPS, I can query the code peer analysis by clicking on this entry in the code peer menu. CodePeer performs a static execution of the code, analysing every single place of the program where a runtime error can be found, whilst trying to prove that no exception can be raised. It can also analyse logic errors, report dead code, and suspicious pre and post conditions on sub-programs. Initiating a CodePeer analysis, launch the CodePeer tool on my code, and displays the report in a dedicated GPS window. Here, we can see that CodePeer found five messages of medium severity and four of low severity. The good news, though, is that the tool didn't flag any high severity messages, which means there is no place in this program that will systematically fail. Let's concentrate on the medium messages for the rest of this demo. Expanding the project node allows me to browse file by file. I can also browse through the messages directly from the location view. Clicking on the first entry on input.adb opens the file in the message location. Here, line is an array out of which I'm accessing an element. As you can see, the declaration of first car type might be a bit broad, so I'm adding a constraint on the type to make sure that using this variable will never generate an out-of-bounds exception. Regenerating the analysis, I can see that errors have changed. If I go back to input.adb, the error is no more on the array access, but on the variable increment. I've moved the potential runtime error on the next line. In this case, I'm confident that this line will never overflow. I'm going to remove this error from the report. Clicking on the note icon on the left-hand bar brings up the message review window. I'm marking this message as being not an error with an associated justification. This message will now be hidden from later analysis. Another very powerful capability of the technology is the ability to detect logic error. Stack.adb exhibits a suspicious precondition. Preconditions are additional information on the code that is extracted by CodePeer and displayed as code annotation. In this case, CodePeer detects that the acceptable values for last when entering this subprogram can be 2 to 199 or 201. This precondition is suspicious as one would expect to have continuous range of values of scalar input. Analysis on the code would show that the statement last equals last minus one is wrong. Fixing it and relaunching the analysis will update the precondition to something acceptable and remove the message from the report. This concludes the CodePeer demo. For more information on the CodePeer tool, please visit our website www.adacore.com or contact us info at adacore.com.